So we're back at the bus today. Getting some wood out of the truck. I don't know what he has planned for it. Maybe we can get him to stop working for just a minute. Tell us what we're doing today. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks. Here's the deal. Um, we have 20 foot links of steel. I gotta come into the right links so that we can use those to support the roof once we raise it. So I'm gonna drag them out. They're inside the bus right now. And I'm gonna bring it out here and I'm gonna start cutting them into their links. So that's kind of what we're doing today. That's what I'm doing today. The, uh, the posse, my nerd posse, they're gonna continue pulling rivets, popping rivets out because we're hoping tomorrow to be jacking up the roof. Yeah, so we'll get the roof jacked up tomorrow. Uh, so the last thing we're gonna do before we jack, before we start making our cuts is pull the windows. We have a huge tarp. Where we're gonna pull the windows last because as soon as I pull the windows, I have to tarp. Because in Florida this time of year, pretty much rains every day, sprinkles, little rains, things like that. And I wanna minimize the amount of rain getting inside. So today's a busy day. Um, and well, let's see what we're gonna do. We brought company today since the weather's getting so nice and we're going to be out here for a longer time. Uh, we uh, brought the babies out with us. So this one's Karma. Karma. Karma, pretty girl. Dick Karma, pretty girl. Dick Karma, pretty girl. And then that one's Luna. It's Luna Love Good. Yeah. And they came out to. Uh, Join the build today. Got some workers. All right, I'm gonna go get these cameras set up so we can don't miss any of the action. So what we have here is when we went and bought our steel, we got some square tubing, some flat steel, and some uh, some angle iron, and we just took the bus to get it because it was in 20 foot lengths, lengths, and I measured it out to. Four foot, the tubular steel, four foot and what, about three eighths, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about three eighths. And that gave us an easy marker to know where the blade was going to hit without having to pull the blade down each time. So it would cut us uh, four foot lengths. And what kind of steel is this? Uh, this is one inch tubular steel. Totally tubular. <laughs> You're such a geek. <laughs> Yeah, well, as you're watching my beautiful other half, my smarter half Stop that I brought with me, <laughs> you know it's true. Yeah, the gr we have two of these uh, grinders, the green and the red one. The green one is just heavier. Um, it's a lot heavier. and But the girls like it because the button, the on-off button's easier to push. The red one is older, and the button kind of, it's hard to turn it on. So what do you think, babe? That thing was heavy. <laughs> Yeah, so what we got here is, uh, remember that green grinder was all heavy? So the, I, I, everyone, everybody involved is required to do some of everything. This is a team effort. We're all going to do a little bit of everything together. So you, you're you tor torturing me on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but after so much pain in it was involved, um, my lovely wife reminded me that she's in charge, and she comes out and takes my job. <laughs> which was cutting the steel, which she did a great job. Um, just just had to show her how to use a machine once or twice, and then once she was going to, she, she was a natural. Uh, so we cut the four-foot links of the tubular and four-foot links of the flat steel, and then two-foot links of the angle iron. Uh, 
So this is the driver's side. We have to take out all of the, uh, the rivets. And he's having to, to drill out from the outside the ones that were underneath the lip where the windows were held in. Um, you can see in the mirror kind of what he's doing. Um, but what he has is a center punch right there. And basically, it's just a really hardened steel nail-shaped kind of object. I'll show it to you a little bit later, I think. And you smack it, it puts a little divot so the drill, when you're drilling it out, has a, has a good spot to start. It helps stop that walking of the drill bit. These are the fabled hellhounds of Yuli, Florida. Beware them, they're dangerous. <laughs> so the steel got wet while I was up there cutting it, so I had to bring it inside to dry it off. I could make a lot of inappropriate comments, but this is a family show. <laughs> now what am I doing here? Back to cutting. You're cutting. This is the angle iron. Yeah, this is the one inch angle iron that we're cutting in two foot leaks. And that is not easy to cut. No, because that's uh, very hard in steel. Yeah. I need better glue. That's high. Now what we're grinding up here, above the window there are two rows of rivets. We're taking out the bottom of the two rows so that we can slide our sheet metal when we reskin the bus up under it and then we'll put new rivets in. But we're leaving the top row. We, after we grind it down, we, uh, well, we took the air hammer and just pop them out. Those things literally would shoot 15, 20 feet out. So don't park your car too close if you like your paint job. Now here's Grandpa coming in to help Mel out with grinding on the other side. Come on, baby girl. What you thinking? What you thinking to boss? Say, I'm not going to go for that step, Mom. That's a long step down. Hey, little poo. This is the driver's side rubber rail. Took it down pretty quick. Uh, we already learned from our other side. Yeah, that's good. If we had found some significant rust, we would have been inclined to remove these other three rails to make sure that it's not there. But we didn't find any. So it's just a little bit of baby surface rust. I mean, you can see here, I can, I mean, it's, so it's minimal to nothing. So we are still on schedule for raising the roof tomorrow. We just gotta knock out some more rivets. And now that I got my, I got my hard worker going to be coming on the inside with me, we should be done here in probably an hour for today. Okay. <laughs> Talking about you. <laughs> what was that? For me. Yeah, oh, you. Okay. All right. I'm telling you. Yeah, he, uh, he might want us to call him the old man, but uh, he doesn't stop working. He's like a little. Last the Energizer battery. It keeps going and going. Yeah, we have to like tie his feet together to get him to sit still for a minute. Uh huh. He gets mad at us too because he trips. <laughs> Guys, this is what we accomplished today. You can see we cut a whole bunch of steel. That's the stuff that's going to support. There's a big stack of uh, uh, tubing. tubing, square tubing off to the side. You can't see that from here. And we popped a lot of these rivets. Now some of the rivets we couldn't get to the inside to grind them off just to pop them out. So what we did is we, we purchased one of these. Actually we purchased several of them. Is that good? Mm-hmm. It's called a center punch. Basically, you take it, put it up to the outside of the rivet, and smack it. Pop. It puts a little divot in the rivet. So it's a little divot in the rivet. Yeah. <laughs> and then makes it easier for the drill bit to grab a spot because the rivets are round. You know, they're concave. Um, so they just want to walk off. You just take this and go whack. Hit it with a hammer. What are you doing? Blind. I put it in the there water it is. Bucket. Yeah. Here's the one we actually used. Yeah. See. And it's got a point, and you just smack the end with a hammer, and it puts a puts a, a divot. So it kind of looks like a ballpoint pen. It does, except it it yeah no don't. This, it's this not is, a writing tool. No, this is cold steel, so it's real hard. Um, at least I think that's what they call it. What do I know? You can see our two beautiful critters. They got up there themselves. We didn't put them up there. Yeah. Now other stuff we did. If we look around to the side, the side over here. This is the driver. This is the driver's side. We got this rubber rail off today. We did the other one yesterday, the other side, passenger side. 
And again, no significant rust, just a little bit of surface stuff, which is fantastic. But if you look up here, you'll see that we knocked out the bottom row of rivets, both sides. The reason for that is um, we're going to bend that out a little bit so we can slide our sheet metal up under it to help keep the water run over. Make sense? I hope so. Um, so that's what we did for that. Tomorrow, we're going to finish up a little, little bitsies here and there. And if everything goes according to uh, the best plans of mice and men, uh, windows come out. And then in the afternoon, we start jacking this baby up. Peace out, my nomies. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to look us up on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and under Nerd Herd Nomads.